Hi guys, I'm Scott Harmer with Motorsportsland in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2014 Landmark Rushmore. Um, starting from the front, you can see that this particular trailer is opted with the full automotive body paint. Keeps the trailer looking brand new for the life of the trailer. Over time, it's definitely a great investment to start with. Um, starting off with the suspension system, Landmark uses a G-rated 16-inch tire with aluminum wheels. It's also got the Easy Flex suspension system, which has integrated shocks in it. At about 55 miles an hour, it takes about 80% of the vibration out of the trailer. It's better for your cabinets, everything in the trailer. It just keeps everything solid. Um, you've got a four-step entry going in with a nice handrail going into the entryway. An, an enormous pass-through storage. Enough stuff to keep all of the essentials that you need. It's also got the diamond plate rubber flooring in here with a D-ring tie-down system. Insulated all the way through and finished everywhere. No pipes or lines that you see hanging down like you see in some other coaches. It's also got the six point level up system. It's an all hydraulic system that's a one touch. Once you get off the truck, hit the auto level, levels you out completely autom automatically. Full width doors with slam latches, just like, like a bus. Um, your catches are also integrated into the frame of the trailer instead of just having a little tab that can bend and break over time. Really gives a good solid lock. It's equipped with 40 pound, 10 gallon propane tanks. LPs on one on each side, just to make it a lot easier to take them on and off to refill. Also, you've got hydraulic landing gear, getting you on and off the trailer a lot easier, a lot quicker. Dual pane frameless windows, better insulation and it doesn't have the frame rounded that it can over time cause your problems. Electric awnings, full campsite on the trailer, L running LED lights underneath both awnings. It's a really nice way to light up the campsite without using a lot of battery power. LED lights have really distinguished the difference between a, a regular trailer and a, and a really nice luxury trailer. Heartland has a patent on the 88 degree turning radius on your front cap. Makes it so that you can tow with a short bed truck without having to have a, a, a big slider hitch. It's got a nice cover on the front of the hitch to make it look a lot nicer. Your battery compartment is lighted. It also has a battery shut off and access to your hydraulics. This particular trailer is equipped with the gen prep on it. It gets you an insulated box around the generator. It also gets you an auto start with a um, hour meter inside that we can take a look at. Coming around the back side, we take a look at our second LP tank. Again, still with the 40 pounds, 10 gallons. Another big slam latch all the way past through storage. This side is also holding your convenient docking center. From a hot, cold shower, all of your satellites, hot water bypass, winterized system, and your pull valves for your waste tanks. Um, waste hose is located in the tube under here. Got your oversized hot water heater, which is gas or electric. The slide system on a Landmark is a rack and pinion. It's a large gear system that goes in and out of the frame of the trailer. It's the, the, the best way to make a slide system, just to have no problems over the longevity of the trailer. Um, this particular trailer is also equipped with the slide toppers on the top of the slides to keep any of the debris from getting into your slides, leaves. The Landmarks are, have a 50 amp system with the dual air conditioners, all the stuff that they have inside. It's a pretty thick, cumbersome cable, so it's really nice to have the Glenn Levitt auto reel, brings it in and out, so you don't have to you know, wind it up and 
find a place to put it. Landmarks have a rear cap on it. Um, it's an aerodynamic cap that actually keeps you about 15 to 20% better fuel economy. Um, definitely, you know, the people that bring us the trailers tell us that you much prefer pulling a landmark compared to anything else just for the added fuel economy. You've got an integrated ladder on the back that gets you up onto the full walkable roof. And then you've got a receiver hitch for a bike rack on the back as well. Come here on the front. You've got a 32 inch Sony exterior entertainment system. It's got an AM, FM, CD, DVD, MP3, MP3, 4. That ought to cover about any electronics the kids throw at you. Um, awning, second awning that comes out and covers all of this, as well as the second row of LED lights. Just makes the whole camp aside really nice. Uh, follow me inside and we'll take a look. Coming in inside right away, you take a look at the Buell floor. It's a much thicker, better looking floor in a residential trailer once you get into this level. Starting off with the kitchen, the entertaining area. I don't think I've ever seen a sink the size of the landmarks. All of your mowing residential faucets, you know, spray valves, um, hot cold on off valve just to keep the countertop really nice and clean looking. It's a solid surface countertop that's a non porous countertop. It's uh, much better for food preparation so the bacteria and stuff can't, you know, adhere to the, to the countertop. Keeps everything a lot, a lot cleaner. 12.7 um, square foot residential refrigerator. It's got a four and a half inch deep freezer. It's the largest on the market. Getting into a full residential trailer like this, you know, between your solid surface countertops, full-size microwave, full-size refrigerator, oversized oven, solid surface to cover up the range to keep, you know, more counter spots, backsplash diamond cut. It's just everything about the trailer, you know, is more residential feeling, you know, from the raised panel cabinetry, you know, to the wood on the, on the front of all the appliances, you know, drawers that are metal ball bearings, Full extended, capable of holding 50 pounds each. Um, coming around this side, you've got um, your nice, good sized sofa. It's got storage underneath in a, in a drawer there. And then pulling the top down, it also converts into a night bed. Uh, one of the things that you'll see in the landmarks that you've seen a lot of the really high end motor homes is the MCD shades as opposed to the, the regular shades, the roller shades are really nice. You've got a complete blackout and a screen. Um, again, more with the solid surface countertops. You've got an electric fireplace that uh, if you're you know, plugged into a, a campsite and you've got electricity, it's a really nice way to heat the trailer without using your propane. And then a 42 inch TV that comes up out of the back countertop. Technically it's more designed like a rear entertainment where if you want to watch the TV, you've got the TV. If, if not, you've just got great 360 panoramic windows. If you're at a lake or someplace, it really, really makes it nice to do that. Um, twin recliners. So now the recliners have a pocket to the side for remote control or magazines. Makes that really nice. Uh, the dinette comes standard with four tables, four chairs, two chairs like this, and then two more folding chairs. If you do have guests, you can bring them. If not, tuck them away and put them in the closet. Um, extend your table out. There's an extra leaf that stores right inside. And you've even got storage in your seats for card games, cards. And that's just to give away more storage in the cabinets behind the dinette as well. Pantry in a full residential trailer like this. The Rushmore's got a great siding across. Just, you know, great utilization of all the space throughout the trailer. Your control system is here. This is your integrated gen prep. You've got a, a hour meter, electric start. Um, this particular trailer is also equipped with the Yeti cold weather package. 
Um, it's heat pads on your tanks, as well as a, a 12 volt pump line. All of your water lines are wrapped with a um, sensor system that if it does get too cold, they kick on automatically so that you can't ever worry about a, a freezing pipes. That's in addition to the great you know insulation that's on the trailer anyway. I took the liberty of kind of showing you this. Um, a eighth of an inch coffee cup keeps your hand from being burnt by you know scalding hot coffee. Imagine what, what layers of insulation brick foam like this do. This is your walls, your floor, and that's your roof. They've got great storage, like I said, anywhere that there can be, there just is. Coming up into the bathroom. You've got a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Nice linen cabinet for your toiletries. You've got a one piece integrated seamless shower with a seat, really a residential feel to that. Even solid surface countertops throughout the bathroom. Uh, you've got ducting throughout the entire trailer. So you've got a twin whisper quiet air conditioning system that's 30,000 BTUs total. Um, coming into the bedroom, you'll notice all of the landmarks have a king size bed. That's a full 70 inch by 80 inch king size bed. With the slide systems that they have being on a cable system, it actually allows you to have great storage for underneath your bed for blankets, linens. You've got a walk-in closet, double-sided. Um, I've gone to the Dyson vacuum, which is fantastic. It's ready at an instant. You don't have to worry about having power, having your generator on. Um, and it's got enough charge enough that it'll do the entire trailer. You've also got an integrated safe in the closet. More drawers. Second side storage. All the units are equipped with a stackable washer and dryer prep. Um, second AM, FM, CD, DVD, MP3, MP3, 4 system. It's all on a Bluetooth as well. 32 inch Sony TV for the bedroom is opted in this unit as well. Just great, full size, full extension, drawers. All right, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today going through the 2014 Landmark Rushmore. Uh, for more questions, please call Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City.